Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the guitar and the story. I think this is episode number four. This one is my Moser Bastard V. I've had this guitar for about a year. This thing's badass, dude. Ended up uh, doing some custom shit to it, but this one, um, when I got it, it was it was quite the mess. If any of you guys seen the unboxing of that, I'll put a card in here for you guys. This thing was just trashed, and uh, that's one of my pet peeves, and I think it should be pretty much anybody's pet peeve. You go to buy something from somebody, and uh, if they don't take you know the extra five minutes just to clean the goddamn thing, and then before they send it to you, that's uh, just being a just a pig, and I don't like that shit. So when I got this thing, man, it was just a fucking mess like there's just dust everywhere all the dead skin probably collected from ever since the guitar was born all the way up to the day that the guy shipped it to me i was super pissed about that but um i was able to clean it up and everything whatever you know cleaned it all up and i actually dyed the fretboard i have actually ebonized this one it came out pretty good and then i installed these uh these skull and crossbone inlays on here as you guys can see uh, just to give it a little more evil touch to it and then I got these, um, I'll provide a link for you guys so you can check out all this stuff. Got these custom, these are handmade uh, knobs for the volume and the tone controls. Shit looks really sweet. And it just has the stock pickups that came in. This is an import model. Uh, I think uh, these used to retail for when they came out, maybe around 1200 bucks or something like that. I got a pretty, pretty good deal on it with the case. Even though it was trashed, but I fixed it. I made it better. It was all good. Uh, so this is a neck through, this is a basswood uh, guitar, basswood body, and this thing's pretty damn light. Like it looks like, just because it's a, it's a pretty big size guitar, like you would think that it weighs a lot, but this thing is super, super lightweight, and it has a hell of a punch to it, even with those uh, stock pickups in there. Grover tuners, uh, the most evil headstock you could ever possibly imagine, one of them. This shit just looks freaking killer, man. Uh, what else we got on here? This is just a licensed Floyd Rose on here, and I do have it blocked. I just did a cheapo blocking method where you just basically electric tape uh, some uh, pennies, nickels, dimes, whatever you have to do to get the right thickness, and it's good to go. It does not move at all. So, yeah, I didn't have any intentions of setting this one up. I just wanted to basically block it and rock it. That's all I wanted to do. Uh, it's got 24 jumbos on here. These feel really good. Fretwork is really, really nice on this. This, uh, this is a Korean guitar and things great, you know. Um, a lot of the stuff I've had from Korea has been just fine. You know, here and there you'll, you'll have uh, one or two little minor issues, but nothing to where it just, uh, you know, just ruins your entire day. So this is a f fantastic guitar. I freaking play this one all the time. It's hard to kind of just basically share all my attention on each guitar because I have so many now, but um, I play them all pretty much equally. Uh, especially this one, this one just has a killer freaking sound to it. And I just, I love the way it looks, it's freaking evil.
going to do it for this episode, you guys, of The Guitar and the Story. I appreciate you guys, as always, for watching and liking and sharing and subscribing to the channel. All that good stuff. All that engagement helps me out so much. Thanks so much. I'll leave you guys right there with one of those. And take it easy. I'm getting the hell out of here.